hi guys i hope you all are doing well and welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing this beautiful cool toned bronzed glam makeup look for you guys i have never done this kind of cool toned makeup look before so i hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started with the skin prep so first i'm starting off with a super lightweight moisturizer that quickly absorbs into my skin because i have oily skin and i don't want anything which is very heavy on my skin and i like using this one because it has hyaluronic acid in it and it works beautifully underneath my makeup next i'm using a lip balm to prep my lips because i have very dry and chapped lips next i'm using a moisturizing primer now it has primer and moisturizer in it and if you are interested i have already done an entire video on this particular brand you can just go and check it out i really like this primer underneath my makeup it just works beautifully doesn't make your skin look dry and also your makeup stays put throughout the day next i'm using a concealer which is very close to my skin shade and i'm using it to hide my dark circles my acne scars and also i'm using it on the highest points of my face to highlight my face a little bit And then I'm gonna take my color bar beauty blender and just blend everything in. Next, I'm moving on to the foundation and I'm using this one because this gives a very skin-like finish and this is very lightweight on the skin, doesn't feel heavy or greasy or cakey. And also this one is sweat-proof and waterproof, so it's perfect for your summer or monsoon days. Next, we need to set our cream products on place so that it doesn't move or doesn't budge. And for that, I'm using a very lightweight translucent loose powder and it just sets everything on place without making your base look cakey. Now let's move on to the brows and I'm using a brow pencil just to make my brows look more structured and defined. And I really like using brow pencils in monsoon or summer because they are very long wearing and they are very quick and easy. Then I'm taking this compact powder and I'm just setting the parameters of my face because I have oily skin and if I don't set my face my base just starts looking oily after a couple of hours. Okay, moving on to the eyes and today I'm using this Maybelline City Mini palette. So first I'm taking this brown shade from this palette and just start stamping it on the outer corner of my eyes. And then with a very light hand, I will just start blending it. And also I will start flicking it on the outwards direction to get that elongated eye effect. And then I'm gonna take some more color and just build it up on my outer corner. And you guys can see I'm just taking my sweet little time to blend everything in because if you don't blend your eyeshadows properly, this is not gonna look good. Oh! 
okay once that is done and i'm happy with the blending then i'm gonna move on to this particular shade and i'm gonna apply it on the middle of my eyelid and i'm using my finger to just get the maximum amount of pigmentation and once that is done i'm gonna take some more eyeshadow and with the help of an eyeshadow brush i'm just defining the crease you guys can see the way i'm doing it then i'm blending the edges so that it looks a little bit even then i'm gonna take this beautiful golden shade and applying it on the inner third portion of my eyes and as well as i'm highlighting my inner corners with it and i'm using a pencil brush to get that precise application Then I'm taking this shade and applying it on my bottom lash line and I'm just taking all the way in. And without taking all at once, I'm just slowly building up the color according to my need. Next I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply some mascara. Then to give some color back to my face, I'm using a blush and this one is very pigmented so make sure you dust off the extra and then apply it on your skin. Next I'm using a bronzer to give some structure back to my face so that my face doesn't look flat. I'm just taking a very little and slowly building up the color because this one is very pigmented and whatever is left in the brush I'm just using it to contour my nose. Next I'm using a highlighter from Pack and they make amazing highlighters. I don't know this shade is available anymore or not but you can totally try their other shades. They are just amazing. Now moving on to the lips and today I'm using a lip liner from K-Beauty. First I'm gonna be lining my lips and then I will use a lipstick. K-Beauty makes amazing lip liners you guys. They are affordable but they are worth your every single penny. For lipstick I'm using this one from NYX and this is so comfortable on the lips and the color is so beautiful. Love it. So yeah guys that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.